here we've got the timing cover and you can see on this side it is kind of recessed as compared to this side it's a lot more defined um, and we're gonna match it up I'm gonna look here so this side is also kind of it's got the same recess on the outside so this is gonna be the outside of the timing cover and it's gonna slide on like that here we've got our tensioner assembly we also have our lower gear assembly for the crankshaft And the other side, this side is sitting flush on this one, and it is sitting straight up with the timing mark, so that's what we're going to want there. So we're going to install that one just like that. We've got our chain here. Don't see any immediate issues. On the old one, it has a line right there pointing directly to the mark however on the new style on this aftermarket it appears that they are using a plain stamp mark to indicate where your timing mark is so that's just something small to keep in mind when I'm doing this We've still got our timing mark lined up perfectly with each other. I have broke this bolt loose now with the shock from the hammer. That gear has a locator key, so that can't go on in the wrong orientation. It can only go one way. timing gear and what I want to do is do just like this I want to look at this so something I was looking at on the new one is if you bend it just like this to the locator you can see there's one tooth here one tooth here there's this tooth that'll fall in this hole, this tooth that'll fall in this hole, leaving these two with one or without a gear, and this one without a gear as well. So that'll be a good way to show if you've got your uh, timing gear and your other one lined up with each other. So. At this point, we've got our tensioner off as well. I'm going to show you there is somewhere on the tensioner but you can see it's kind of cut up and grooved there overall this would be normal wear um, at this point we're not to the metal backing on the back side so there is nothing uh, too serious to worry about on this so if a person wanted to they probably could reuse this timing gear and tensioner set but while I'm already here I'm gonna go ahead and change it just for ease of mind Okay, so at this point, we have got our timing gear and chain off. I don't see any uh, signs of extreme wear anywhere in here. All of our gears, all of our teeth and everything look good. Um, so I'm not concerned with much of anything I'm seeing here. Uh, the only thing I think I'm going to go do now is I'm going to go buy some brake cleaner and some razor blades. And I'm going to clean all these surfaces off. And I will also clean off all the mating surface as well to break clean. After that, it'll be, uh, shouldn't have done that, open oil pan. After I've done that, I will spray this all down, get it all cleaned up, and I will start reinstalling everything. <laughs> 